a sunny Bay of Plenty welcomes the French rugby team for their second to last match in New Zealand. And this is the Rotorua Stadium where in perfect conditions today, France will play Bay of Plenty. Unbeaten in 1989, Bay of Plenty are also showing a number of new names and faces to the wider New Zealand rugby audience. Here in the Bay, they like their little winger, number 14, Peter Woods, and there's a lot of interest in the play of number 10, Kupai Itahai. In the forwards, Arthur McLean and the captain, Wayne Ranui, have been New Zealand Maori representatives, but there's generally an inexperienced look about the team. Perhaps the best-known player is number 11, the 1983 and 84 All-Black test winger, Bruce Smith. Here's the French 15 with the usual number of unusual aspects to it. In the backs, Jean-Marc Lescure and winger Patrick Lajusquet uh, have changed position. Franck Maynel goes back to his original international position of fly half. Well, in the forwards is a more settled look, but these are the Wednesday players, with the exception of the lock forward Dominique Urbani, number five. Henri Sans will captain the French team again from half back. Perfect conditions for the game in Rotorua, and we'll have the highlights of the match for you after this break. Back at the International Stadium in Rotorua, this is referee Ian Blackmore of North Auckland, and it's Kopai Irehai to begin the second-to-last match of the French Tour of New Zealand in 1989. In good conditions as the former All Black Bruce Smith gets the ball and then loses it, and the French number six, Jean-Francois Tordeau, uh, is uh, with the ball in possession when the first whistle is blown for an infantry. Henri Sainz, number nine for... France away to into the backs to Franck Reynel who made that uh, run along that line that the French fly house has done right throughout the tour. This is Denny Chave who's nudged it down and that's halfback Joe Tauiwi. And this is Denny Chave seems to be out of favour with the French uh, selectors but international a very talented player playing it inside centre this afternoon. The first line out you see at the back number six for Bay of Plenty is Rex O'Brien. This is Taiwi. He's sky kicked this one into space. Taken by Jean Baptiste Lafond. And that's a good kick, too, by Jean Baptiste Lafond. Another player who's changing position today. Uh, he began on the tour as a wing, shifted back to fullback for his other appearance. Here he is on wing again today. Short to the front of the lineup by Wayne Ranui. And uh, back quickly to, to Tauiwi. Here is Lafond, the big winger again on the left side. Back to Lascure, his fullback today. High ball into the centre. And waiting under it is Wayne Ranui, the captain. Bay of Plenty forwards. Uh, lack a bit of height in the uh, line out, so they may try a number of those uh, quick throw ins and short ones. And this is the fly half, Kopai Irihai, who has found touch outside his own 22. So standing at the front of the bay is big Arthur McLean. That's him with his arm raised. Next to him is Marc Pujol. That's on the French side. Todo is number six. That's the 22-meter line behind. Sons away to Maynell. The high test for fullback Wilson Jones. He's waiting. And what a long wait it was. Deflected loose ball. Oh, knock on there by Benetton, but he was down and close to it. And a fight away to the left. Away to the right. A big ball involved. Several players tumbling over each other, and someone's had their shirt torn right off. You can see the Bay of Plenty shirt the way to the right hand. Eyeball to eyeball, tete a tete, as they say in France. And that must have been raging all the while after Manel's high kick through. Let's have a look at the kick again as they're waiting. Down in the foreground, you see that one of the players, I think it's the Bay of Plenty captain, Ranui, has had his shirt torn off his back. Uh, Benetton very nearly in for the try. Defensive scrum, this is Tauiwi. This is Irihai. He has not found his touch. John Mark Lescure with the drop kick. He's a bit of a drop kick expert, but that's a bit far for him. And uh, it'll be touched down. This is Steve Milne. Running up to the goal line. The second 5 drops, touches down for the drop out. And that's good tactics by Milne to break the game up and send it back down to the same man, Jean-Marc Lescure, the fullback today. He's played all his other games on tour as a fly half. This is his fourth tour appearance. And here is Wilson Jones. And he too has not found touch. Yes, he has. It deflects off Henri Sanders' hand. 24-year-old fullback from uh, Tauranga. 
Wilson Jones. So Wayne Wainui to throw. They've got a lot of variations. That was Darren Martin coming in to get it, number four, but it's gone on the French side. They're just five metres in their own territory, the French. But they're Bay of driving it away here. Taliwi. That looked like Rex O'Brien. Now to Eddie High with a long drop kick attempt. Charged down. French backs are up offside. And referee Blackmore in midfield gives an early scoring chance to Bay of Plenty. Darren Martin, who got that one there, they've secured their share of the ball at the moment. And that's Molly Hood, the prop forward, a good rush. Ta'iwi out to Eddie High. Milner's left out, this is Shelford. Out to Bruce Smith. The winger was supported by his fullback, and that's good play by the Baybacks. They're having a go when they get line out ball, and there's Bruce Smith. Good work by him to push that kick up the left wing touch line. No change in the score. Lovely jump by Rumart, who's been their best line at four on tour. Picked up by Rex O'Brien. Good run by him. The, sorry, that was uh, Van der Leeden, number eight. This is Tawiwi. Back to Eddie High. To Milne. High ball to Peter Woods. Lovely backing up and Shepard's in. A try for Daryl Shepard after he backed up his winger, Peter Woods. The first try, it came off the French throw in. A good jump by Rumart, but when they went down, it was lost. Picked up by Steve van der Leiden. He made a good charge, supported by O'Brien, but the ball was turned back as it was carried on there by Dean Oswald. Close to the goal line, it comes to Tawiwi, out to Idehai. A long ball here from Milne, leaving out Shelford, but Shelford gets in support of number 14 Woods and gets the return pass and is over in the tackle of Maynard. Lovely kick and Bay of Plenty lead France by nine points to nil after 16 minutes of play. So, Wayne Manu has some very good variations on line out throw, and that's tap ball for them. Hit a high, they're running this one. This is Milne. Pullback Wilson Jones in, but well and truly into the wall there. And hello, a penalty for a Bay of Plenty. This is about uh, 50 odd, nearly 50 meters out. And uh, back go the French forwards after having stopped that Bay of Plenty attack in midfield. Kopai Irihai, 22 years of age. Puts the bay out to 12 nil after 22 minutes in the first half. Penalty for France, it was pushing at the back of the lineout. And after 30 minutes of play, an early, uh, well, a scoring chance at last for the French Touring team. So this is Jean Baptiste Lafon. And he's put the French on the board after 30 minutes, and it's now Bay of Plenty 12 and France 3. Built by Idihai, restarts the game. And the both play, Bay forwards going through. And there was protection of the jumper, Olivier Rumat, throwing his hands to his head in despair. And right away from the kickoff, it's a penalty to Bay of Plenty, another chance for points for the Bay. Let's look at that again. Apparently there was someone giving support to the catcher. Yes, you see uh, Gala go in and push away the uh, player coming through, Alan Connell. And so the penalty awarded by referee Blackmore to Bay of Plenty. What a good goal again by Idehai. And the Bay keep their 12-point gap. They are now 15 and France are three. 
the big policeman right at the front. Rumat gets the tap down to Berod. And away goes Bennett on number seven. That's the 22. Out into the backs. Menel. High ball for Wilson Jones. Just by his goal line. Up goes the jump. And touchdown. Nice catch by Wilson Jones. There he is, the fullback number 15. Four minutes to go till half time. It's a 12 point lead to the home team as half time approaches. They're trying to get some momentum going. Songs away to Manel. Oh, if he's clear, yes, he is. He gets through the defense with sheer speed. After all, he is 86 kilograms, Frank Manel, one of the biggest fly halves in the world. And he forced himself over like a loose ball. A real powerhouse try this one. Uh, they were trying for the pushover originally. Rumat in control at the back. And the base scrum was breaking up, but it came clear to Sons in the end, who puts it out to Manel, a short pass. Manel looks as though at one stage he might be held up, but he wrenches himself clear. We know he's a strong player and stretches out one arm to get it over. This is Jean-Marc Lestour. And he skied it away wide. They have plenty lead at the break by 15 points to seven. We'll have more from the International Stadium in Rotorua after this break. A grim, determined battle, this one, between France and Bayapendi. Here is the French captain, Henri Sons. From deep towards Rouen. Torbo has it. Buried in there, the throw to Simmons. Not straight. So Bay of Plenty will have the put in. Shabowski and McLean eyeing each other over the back. Six minutes gone, second half. Tawiwi. Hit it high, now the man outside him was ahead. And uh, Lescure claims a fair catch. It seemed to me that uh, several times Steve Mill, number 12, He's got ahead of Kopai Irihai in those high kicks through. But on his own goal line, the skewer has taken a fair catch. Dean Oswald takes the catch near the touchdown. Up to the 22 comes the flying flanker Oswald. Oh, Mandel went in with a head high. The referee is signaling for him. Irihai has dropped it. This is Milne. There may be a penalty for a head high there. Steve Milne trying to get away from Urbani. Still going. Loose ball, and it's going to be a penalty for the head high tackle by Frank Manel. There's the signal from referee Blackmore, and this is handing to the post a chance for more points for the vote. Eight minutes gone, second half. Every team facing the French on tour in New Zealand has had a winning chance at some stage or another of the match. And the Bay of Plenty team and the blue and yellow hoops certainly have their chance today, leading by that score. France have to score twice at least to get the lead. And they don't look like doing that at the moment. Sons throws deep to Ramad, who's got a bit of a field day in the lineups when they throw it to him. Good play by Ramad. Songs out to Manel, not a good pass. The high kick again. Jones is coming forward, but it's not going to get to him. It's on the Bay of Plenty side. Tau Iwi, wild pass. It is high. This is Wilson Jones. He's caught. Again, it's come loose. And Lafon trying to keep play going. Bay of Plenty in defense. They've got the, their hands around that one. And Bay 
Smith who were in position at the breakdown of play, so they'll have the lease here. Nice man up to Sir Philip Benetton. So again, a new position. Blind side, Sons. Henri Sons through. Now I think that's about the first time on tour the French have played the blind side, and look what happened. Sons is comfortably in for the try. They have played very little blindside rugby on the tour. This time it's the little New Zealand move called left though. Sons dummy when uh, he saw the defender coming across and was comfortably over. So Henri Sons scores today's second try for the touring team. The back closed up to 18 to 11. Quite an important kick for the French team. He's on Michael Steele from wide out. And it's a good one. He had to land that one to get them within uh, six points. And he's done that at 18 points to 13 now after 14 minutes, second half. There's Oswald to the right. You can see the real height advantage that the room has got in front of him is Darren Martin. That's the 22 there. Something is taking a good piece of play. Rumart not happy about that one. He thought that the French team should have got the put in. This is Van der Leiden. Steve Van der Leiden, the number eight forward. Taken by Benetton. Back to Sons. This is Urbani. France in possession. Coming to a crunch point in the game. France need to score to take the lead. Let's gear up the fullback. Valier, he's got a lot of speed, Valier. Good tackle by Wilson Jones. Jolted the ball out of his arms. There's Wilson Jones. Ball back and just his fourth down for the province, and that was a very sturdy tackle indeed on Stefan Valer. 22,000 people in the ground this afternoon urging Bay of Plenty on. There's Dominic Urbani behind him, Rumart, the two best forwards the French have got in this team today. Now, Songs away to Maynell. It's been a game of high kicks. Wilson Jones has come right forward on that one. Loose ball. Well, he's always in the game, Rumat, one of the most improved players on this tour. Olivier Rumat. Midfield position just on Bayer Plenty's side of halfway. Shadows lengthening. Bay of Plenty still in the lead by 18 to 13. Well, referee Blackmore has penalised Bay of Plenty for, I think it was, it seemed to be for shamming an injury there or delay it to put in. Ron knew he was uh, acting as though he was hurt, and now the attendance is coming for him but they've received a penalty against them for that delay back there at scrum time <laughs> 15 minutes to go big kick by Lescure has closed the gap up now to just two points Jean-Marc Lescure penalty goal 25 minutes gone in the second half, and there's the score. Just a two-point lead to the Bay now. This is Rumat. Good stop by Moon. And this is Bruce Smith. He's got support with him. Ah, Peter Woods, a lovely pass. This is the man they really like to rush, run in the Bay of Penny. Muscure running back. Some very excited footballers in there, and still the 
punches fly, even though the referee has called for a halt. And it's still going on. Rumart is still wishing, wishing to throw a couple. Let's look at that again. See how Bruce Smith got it and made his decision to go way back behind his 22. He had Peter Woods outside him, gave him a good pass, and Woods put in a very good kick. It was good because it was high, and the ball came down on its point and bounced very awkwardly for fullback the skewer. And from here on in, it was all on. Arms and limbs wrenching for the ball, bodies flying in. Here's another chance for the Bay as the match resumes, and it'll be a restart from the 22. Exciting stuff with 10 minutes to play. Bay of Plenty leading by 18 to 16. And no doubt they'll have in mind the lead that Manawatu had earlier in the tour. When the French came back in the last minute to win that game after being behind. So Bay of Plenty trying to do what Wellington did last Saturday and hold on to a slender lead. Rumard, who's had a very good game today, if a little over vigorous at times. Galar away to Berol, near halfway. Oh, that's shameful stuff. Now, referee Blackmore might have to march someone here very soon because Pujol put the boot in in the first half and that was unnecessary use of the boot again. Here's what happened in that incident. Now look for number eight on the ground. He gets jumped on, on the head by Pujol, and that is disgraceful. Rumart as well, but Pujol put the boot in on the face of Joe Kauiwi in the first half, and now he's done it to Steve van der Leiden in the second. He should have been sent off. Just over five minutes left in the game. 18-16, the Bay of Plenty. Sons. Referee is going to play advantage and give the French team a penalty for a late charge on Henri Songs. I think the crowd believe it was a bit of a Hollywood dive by Songs, but we mustn't be too annoyed. Here goes Harpo marks himself over the halfway line. This is no comedy though. That's a Dominique Gavani. The Bay of Plenty team going in to rock this one. It's come for Songs. Bay need to hold out. Chave. Oh, that was Lafon. The ball is in the centre. Well, Lajeste has it. Manel and Manel waves to the crowd as he scores the try, which may well be the match winner. They dived in here. It was there for the Bay if they wanted it, but it came to Sans, then Chavez, and Lafond, the left-footed player, had the kick on the left side, banged it into the centre where there was really nobody at home. It came down. The catcher was Lajesquet, and look at the little wave from now as he realises he's through and in and under the post. The try is converted by Lafond, and it's 22 to 18 to the French touring team. Sons trying to Pujol. This is Berov near the touchline. Sons again on his own. The little man, the goal line is looming ahead. This is Tordo. That's Peacock, the replacement player for Van der Leiden. But that's the goal line. The French may get one more try. And that's the end of the game. It was a very brave performance by Bayer Plenty. They